Hey guys, Kaitan again. Today we are solving another problem from the beginner level of code chef. And uh, today we are going to solve turbo sort. And the problem code is T sort. Uh, it's very straightforward. We, we are given a list of numbers and we have to sort them in not decreasing order. So the input is in, uh, we get a T, which is the number of uh, numbers in the list. Well, for example, here we got five and we have five following numbers in each line and a number can be in this range right and the uh, input size is 10 power 6 so we need a fairly uh, you know a fairly powerful algorithm to uh, solve it in uh, within the given amount of time otherwise uh, we'll be getting time limit exceeded uh, I actually tried it with uh, I think insertion sort first uh, which is n square complexity and I did get a time limit exceeded, so I tried with quick sort, which is actually one of the fastest. Uh, but I still got time limit exceeded. I don't know why. But then later, uh, I just found this, uh, you know, standard library uh, function, which worked quite well. Uh, this is like the previous answer. So what I'll do is I'll just remove this and I'll write the code again. Uh, this is how it will be in the in the starting. Uh, we don't have any includes and everything, so we we do need an include for this, which is uh, bits slash uh, that's forward slash and then std c plus plus dot h. So we need this include uh, to access a function that we are using uh, it is a sort function yeah so first of all we just take the input uh, those of you are not familiar with stl uh, please some please do do some digging it is like okay stl stands for standard template library and it has a lot of uh, data structures and uh, it is it is basically a combination of data structures and algorithms uh, that are already utilized like they are already created by the C++ people so we don't have to write them on our own for example if you want to use a hash map or a hash set you don't have to write all the code that is necessary for them uh, from the ground up it is already there you just have to know how to utilize them right you can read up on STL if you are trying to become a competitive programmer or something you, or even for interviews you definitely need that if you are going to do solve problems in C++ uh, it is it is almost a mandatory thing uh, because you can't uh, hope to write all the code by yourself you know if you want to create a hash map if you want to solve a, a bigger problem and you need a hash map for that uh, problem then uh, you you can't start writing all the hash map code uh, it's one it's very 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 it's sometimes tough for uh, some algorithms because they're complicated and also sometimes it's very uh, time consuming and that's a bigger factor because uh, even if you know you can't uh, solve the problem in the given amount of time right so you it's almost mandatory to learn stl if you're <clears throat> if you're trying to solve problems in c++ right uh, we don't need any fancy things for this problem we are just going to use one function which is sort function so we'll just take the input and then I will show you how we are accessing the function. It's very, very straightforward. Okay, first we need a T, uh, which is the number of, uh, you know, lines. So we take T, well, we take T, right? Uh, so and I'll D and that's, and right? Now, I didn't uh, if you notice, I didn't declare the array yet because I have to know what is the size of the array, right? We get that by taking t. So I took t first and uh, then I'm declaring the array. Right? Let's call it a and the size of it is t. Right? Uh, okay, we need to take them one by uh, take the inputs one by one so first we'll initialize it to zero and then while it is less than t we're gonna put uh, 
all of them in a of i one by one right so we just uh, took the input and all of them are in a, a now and we'll also write the output code before uh, doing the function because it's it's easy to understand right okay we can do one thing we'll just copy this for loop and paste it here Mm, so this is all same except for uh, scanf we are just going to do printf and here we don't need the addressing right so this should solve that now we need to sort it right so this is the specialty of uh, stl we we can just call the sort function it, and it will sort us for us sort it for us and uh, it's very very quick that's one my main thing for stl it, all its implementations are really really quick so they give we can also say that they give clean code uh, because they are so quick and uh, so effective right and they are also customizable if you uh, to a good good a good degree if you want to use it uh, in some novel cases right so we just use sort function and the parameters are the array which is a and then we have to i think this is for the size we have to do a plus t because uh, t is the size of the array so we have to do a plus t uh, yeah so that's the format for it uh, we can also customize it uh, by you know uh, using if we want to uh, sort it in a decreasing format we can use another function another uh, parameter over here over here which is also like kind of like a function right uh, but we are not doing that here so i'm not going to go deep into it uh, it will take a lot of time for me to explain that so i'll just stop it here so we'll just check it with the custom input okay we got one three five six seven but we want it in different line right there we go so one three five six seven it's sorted let's submit it all right there we go guys 0.21 seconds it's very very quick uh, that's a big advantage of stl uh, yeah so if you're not familiar with stl please do some digging and uh, at least understand what it is from a higher level uh, we have containers and uh, then algorithms containers are basically implementations of data structures uh, right yeah thank you for watching and uh, please share it with your friends so that they can if they are interested in programming they'll also uh, you know get some value out of these videos so yeah hit the like button subscribe and thanks for watching